All right, all right, everybody. We're back with Red Dead 2. Here playing around in the Hello, epilogue. All right. Toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. All right, well, we have a, uh, have a mission right here with Mr. Geddes. Mr. Let's Milton? not, let's not Hi, step, step in the hey, shit. I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jesus Christ. Rich man's body. You boys are over. Who's this? New hand? Alright, let's beat him up. Oh. Oh. You're that tough guy they just took on. I heard about you. Come on. Dumb Hicks. I lost the wind. Ooh. He ain't getting up. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll leave right. away. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's ride. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Getting those old skills hey. up. Hey! 
You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him! I tried to... There we go! Here we go. Damn melted! Damn! Melton, you son of a bitch! I see you, Milton. You're gonna be sorry for what you've done. You're gonna pay, all right. You, you ain't so talky now, are you? Piss stinking, shit shoveling, backwoods, sucker! No good trap. Come here, you bastard. That's all you got. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my seats. Uh, shit. All right, we got a hat. Put him down. Time to get the hell out of here. All right, gentlemen. It's time we get back home. Come on, lady. Finally got a little bit of action in. How you boys doing? Mr. Milton, this man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that wasn't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe, 
Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. What I miss? Get ten kills with dual wielding sidearms. Oh, I didn't. I didn't do that. <laughs> and get fifteen headshots. Now I know I got a lot of headshots. Come on now. All right. I don't understand what she wanted us to do in this matter. Because at that point, it wasn't a whim. We were ordered to go get the cattle back. All right, home we are. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, no. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in... Your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the... Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take exciting care reality, he says. I still ain't used to it. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? Be careful on this. I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Ma was wrong about that. It really wasn't. They attacked the uh, the ranch. There was no talking to him to begin with. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. I 
It's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. <coughs> there you go. And here we are. That's Wasn't that bad, was it? For now. That kid's strawberry, that kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. He's like, don't leave me here, please. Uh, no, no. Back, back up, back. Back up, back up. Oh my god, no! What the fuck? Why'd it keep going forward? Back in Strawberry, hey kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. You giving the horse a rest, Pa? This wind's gonna blow my roof off. Okay, I just took took a wrong turn this time, but it's fine. I know where we're going. All right, so here we are. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Hello, sir. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes. Here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh... Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. There you go. Okay, Pa. Yeah. We're going 
going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Plus, was there really much for us to do, sit and hang out? Just exist? Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Everything looks all right thus far. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No. Keep driving. Faster. Seem okay. Give him a switch. We're being followed. Take careful over this bridge. I don't bridge. like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Sounds like we got a storm coming, actually. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Exactly, as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Down! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Would you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. No? Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. All right, let's get you back home. Oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. 
brave back there. Yep, you Real did good, brave. buddy. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you relax. Things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as ranch boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? <laughs> I wasn't so sure, but yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? Yep. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. That's good. Just keep them talking, keep them away, keep them distracted. Almost home, son. got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. He had, like, no control over what happened. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. All right, we what got a messenger. I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Huh. No one ever does. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Oh, by the horse. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Holy shit. Well, we'll see what Abigail has to say about it. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you. 
but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting, unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done, unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Jesus Christ, man. <clears throat> Return to work. I mean, I understand hating the danger, but... Especially in the most recent situation, John had no control over it. He didn't cause anything, it just... Just kinda happened. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. All right, let's go see what he has to say. Might not be the 100% uh, wisest man, but we'll see. Especially if he just leaves guns sitting around. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Finally out into the world again. That is not what I meant to do. Oh my god. Okay, so. Seems we got two missions. One in Strawberry, or one in Valentine and one in Blackwater. I say. Hold on. Credit, uh, give me credit. Reference to use at the bank, or we could go see about Mrs. Adler. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go see about the bank, shall we? Cruel, cruel world, must I go? me running around I heard a voice that said just settle down and with the moonlight as my guide and with this feeling deep inside I know now that I am homeward bound Oh dear lord, wolves are after me. <laughs> What'd I miss? I'll complete it in a minute. I didn't take that long, did I? Sweat, girl. 
Coming on, girl. Seems like we've got our weapons. All of them. Really? And yet this still remains. In poor condition. Yeah, it hasn't been used in years. Heading down south, that's all. Hang in there, girl. It's not as if she's been to Blackwater to know how, uh. Oh my. Is that all? Wow. Staying in Strawberry, if you could just go. I can't quite think of a good reason to say no. All right, oh, come thank on. Thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Sure. Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. Wait, didn't I accidentally scare this guy what off are you at doing the. out here anyway? Beginning this of the game? clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Huh. Not enjoying it, then? It's a town of splinters, if you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame jack and I'll show you Broadway. I suppose so. Meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bit spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. <laughs> it's like I'm just riding a horse out here and you stopped me. You don't know nothing about me, man. Oh yes, this does look familiar. Do I need to lead you all the way into town or can you get it back from here? All right, all the way in it seems. I mean, you can see it through the trees now. Not too much is gonna happen to you. But at least it's letting a horse of stamina go back up. That's a girl. Oh, are we close to town? Just about. Forceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, fella. I'm 
I'm not even sure how we'd go about doing that. I don't even know who the mayor New is. New Yorkers. Jesus. New Yorkers. I guess the closest association he's ever had with it is Trelawney. And he can be quite the handful. How many times do we have to deal with his theatrics before? Burnt to a black crisp. Take cocaine gum. Oh my god. Moonshine. Is that a letter? English spelling practice. Oh, they were holding natives? God damn. Alright, come on. Oh no, no. Go through here, go through here, go through the hole. The giant hole. Oh my god. Just getting ambushed by a bunch of Native Americans? Jeez. Well, maybe I can pull something from their corpses. Skinner Brothers. Three bucks. Where the hell did my horse go? Penny for the blind. I, I can't give him anything. Penny for the blind. I, I can't interact with him. Penny for the blind. Penny for the blind. Okay, screw it. Okay, Missy. Help a blind man. See? Now I can interact with him. They will come for you, friend. When they do, you will not have a choice. But you have lived better than most. Okay. Well, okay, then. All right, girl.
Look out! God damn idiot. You know what? Since I'm here, let's uh buy some clothes and maybe get a haircut. Come on in. Now, let me see. Classic tailcoats. Shotgun coat. That looks better. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. Alright, and what's what's the, uh, because I know we got some, some of this stuff in our inventory. Nope, not coats, not coats, not coats back. Was it jeans? No work pants. Everyday pants. Ah, oh, damn it! Almost human. Nope. Well, we'll see. Uh, boots, boots. I Could know we, we had... please get this over and done with? What is wrong with you, sir? Accessory. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Good day to you. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Gettys. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? 
Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Let's go, girl. All right, let's see about some squatters. Where are we headed? Oh, it's its own mission. An Englishman called Gavin. Oh my God, he's still around. You got a problem? All right, well. I think we'll see about the squatters when we return. So uh, thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, for joining me. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And a happy May the 4th to you. Uh, let's see you back for, re uh, for what is it? Revenge of the 5th and Return of the 6th. But I uh, thanks so much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.